I hate to see summer go, so I'm going to make one last recipe to remind me of summer. I'm going to take one and a half cups of flour and one teaspoon of baking soda. Stir these together. You want to make sure that they're blended well. And then we're going to sit that aside. Put that over here right now. So I've got half a cup of butter. To this half a cup of butter, I'm adding one cup of sugar and an eighth of a teaspoon of sea salt. This is raw sugar, and the sea salt will give me that salt flavor without having to use as much salt. To that, I'm going to add one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract, and we're going to add two uh, eggs, nice and slow. Try to add them one at a time. We'll sit this off to the side. I'm going to turn that off for a second so that I can scrape. So I quickly scrape, turn it back on. Now I have half a cup of coconut. What says summer? What says more summer than coconut? And a quarter of a cup of poppy seeds. Mixing that up, watching it carefully. Now what I'm going to do is this is our flour mixture. So I'm going to add a little flour mixture, then alternate with a little bit of half and half. More of the flour mixture, more of the half and half, tiny bit more of the flour, finish off the half and half, Finish off the flour, turn that off really quick so that I can once again scrape down the bowl, making sure that everything's mixed in well, and it really seems to be mixed in well. One last quick turn, switching out my pans. Alright, so then I'm going to scrape my paddle really quick making sure that I get off all the batter. I'm going to take my batter and place it into a greased loaf pan. Of course my oven is preheated at 350 degrees. There we go real quick. Spreading it out so I have a nice even layer. And then I will bake this at 350 degrees for 50 minutes. Then I'll let it cool for 10 minutes before I take it out of the pan. My loaf is baked for 50 minutes. I let it cool in the pan for 10, then removed it from the pan. Now I've got one cup of powdered sugar, half a teaspoon, of pure vanilla extract and this is lime juice and there's about three tablespoons in here but I'm only going to put in about one tablespoon. I'm taking a fork and mixing this up. What I'm going to do with this glaze, which is different than most, all I'm doing is I'm putting it over the center of our loaf. I'm going to let gravity take care of the rest. Then, I have some extra coconut, and I'm going to sprinkle that over the top. Now that was super simple. So that is our poppy seed coconut loaf. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, click like. Also, give me some comments and some suggestions of things that you'd like to see or things you'd like to see different. Down below, you'll see a subscription. Subscribe, and you'll see recipes like this every week. Also, in the description below is a link to my blog, which has this recipe and many others. I hope you enjoyed this recipe, and I'll see you again next week. And remember, make yourself at home.